children in their schoolrooms, women in their homes. None was to be spared the horror of total war. I want you to get your missing out and settle down comfortably at your desks. And then I want to see just how long you can sit there with your gas masks on. And when you're quite quiet, I'm going to read your story. But for eight months, all was quiet. It was the phony war. Then suddenly, on May the 10th, 1940, the Nazi High Command released its panzer columns and mobile infantry on neutral Belgium and Holland in a swift thrust towards the undefended frontiers of France. That night, British troops crossed the frontier to meet the Wehrmacht. Three weeks later, the dazed and battered remnants of a gallant army had been swept to the sea. And across the channel in Britain, a nation prayed for deliverance. Then came the epic of Dunkirk. Units of the home fleet wrote a new and magnificent chapter in naval history. But the real miracle was provided by that great armada of little ships, pleasure boats, paddle steamers, river crafts, to which J.B. Priestley paid a grateful nation's tribute. Among those paddle steamers that will never return was one that I knew well, for it was the pride of our ferry service to the Isle of Wight, none other than the good ship Gracie Field. She has paddled and churned away forever. But now, look, this little steamer, like all her brave and battered sisters, is immortal. She'll go sailing proudly down the years in the epic of Dunkirk. And our great-grandchildren, when they learn how we began this war by snatching glory out of defeat and then swept on to victory, may also learn how the little holiday steamers made an excursion to hell and came back glorious. Now Britain stood alone, but with the knowledge that a great empire and commonwealth was ranged alongside her. And from London, nations upon whom the Nazi tyranny had been clamped heard and were comforted by the voices of their leaders in exile. Benesh of Czechoslovakia. Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands. King Hawken of Norway. Norske kvinder og mænd. Det er med vimodige følelser. Jeg i dag taler til det norske. King Peter of Yugoslavia. Da živi naša mila otačbina Yugoslavia, koja će vaskrsnuti močnija no što je ikad bila. Čikovske of Poland. Prodaci. Mówię do vas kulminacijnem punkte suksesu v Germanii. And the voice of General de Gaulle. Zanavit li šef. And in this dark hour, Britain too found a voice. A voice to express her determination to stand firm. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duty. So bear ourselves that if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour.